Morgan Freeman. What are we really made of? Next Wednesday at 10 on Science Channel. We're hunting for Earth-like planets and Earth-like life. And maybe, we hope, alien civilizations. But what if they aren't Earth-like at all? What if the aliens don't need things like bodies? Looking for life as we know it could be a mistake because, some say, life as we know it will soon be an artifact of the past. I think it's entirely possible that we will discover microbial life on some extrasolar planet. But I think what people really want is they want aliens. <laughs> they want somebody we can talk to, somebody that we can relate to as thinking individuals. Will Wright is the creator of two revolutionary video games, The Sims and Spore. Wright designs software that creates alien life, creatures uniquely adapted to the myriad conditions that might be encountered out in the universe. Of course, it's all simulated inside his computer. Wright believes that life on Earth is radically changing. A new form of life is being created, part human, part machine. You can almost look at any technology that we use today as an extension of the human body. The buildings are an extension of our skin. Cars are an extension of our legs. The telephone is an extension of our mouth. Humans have been so intertwined with technology for thousands of years already that it's really hard to almost pull the two apart. And that seems to just be increasing and accelerating over time. Some believe that we might eventually get rid of our bodies completely and become creatures of pure consciousness, living in a giant computer. If this is slowly happening to the human race right now, has it already happened out in the stars? It's probably likely that if we ever do meet intelligent alien life out there, I would imagine that they probably are going to be transbiological in some sense. They might be entirely a mechanical civilization. Physicist Paul Davies agrees. In my view, uh, biological intelligence is just a transitory phase in the evolution of intelligence in the universe. So after millions of years, you'd be dealing with something that might be distributed across the whole surface of a planet, it wouldn't be a living organism, it would be a sort of gigantic throbbing megabrain. It's possible these alien super beings, whatever they may be, are sending us messages right now, but we aren't advanced enough to detect them. Then again, maybe that's for the best. It could be that these alien intelligences have entirely different intentions, and therefore, maybe they aren't broadcasting where they are. Or maybe it's a hostile universe. There are a lot of science fiction scenarios that go down the path of the ones that basically start calling out into the deep forest or the ones that get eaten by the wolves. The intelligences that are out there trying to talk to everybody else are the ones that get eaten first. And that's why everybody else is being really quiet. Maybe the aliens aren't friendly. On the other hand, they may not even think we're worth contacting particularly if they're ancient, throbbing megabrains. I think it's very unlikely that some super intellect that had been the product of millions of years of design is going to have very much interest in traveling around the universe. It would long ago have sent probes out and uh, gather all the information it needed. Uh, I think it's much more likely that something that has been around for such a long period of time and has such enormous intellectual power is going to retreat into a sort of inner cyberspace. Probably lose interest with its immediate surroundings so long as someone's paying the electricity bill and defending this throbbing megabrain from asteroid impacts and other dangers. I imagine uh, that it's not going to be very mobile. And there's another, even bleaker possibility. What if there was other intelligent life in the universe, but now it's gone? 
set has been going for about 50 years now and all the astronomers have got to show for it is a silence i would say an eerie silence because many people feel that there should be intelligent life out there there should be other civilizations and if so they're ominously quiet maybe the reason they're ominously quiet is because uh, they've all died out they've wiped themselves out or some horrible fate has befallen them if it is all silence then that bodes ill for the future of humanity all of this leads back to where we started, with a simple question. Is there other life in the universe? Absolutely. There must be other life forms in the universe, and I'm even willing to go the next step and say there must be intelligent technological life elsewhere in the universe. When you count up all the stars that are out there, those billions, trillions, even more Earth-like planets offer an enormous number of throws of the dice. Even if life is one in a million or one in a billion, there are just too many throws of the biological dice out there in the cosmos uh, for us to be alone. We have no evidence one way or the other for any life beyond Earth, let alone intelligent life. Therefore, um, my feeling about it is uh, we wait and see. I've got to be skeptical until I get some evidence otherwise. What's that, Carl? Watch all the wreckage! I would find it incomprehensible that the answer would be no. If it was no, that would be an amazing bit of information to have. I mean, even understanding uh, how rare we are, you know, that maybe intelligent life, like we might understand it, is very, very far away from us, puts an incredible responsibility on us. All of a sudden, Earth, humans, directed intelligence, becomes incredibly precious. Our search for ET has been going on for half a century. But the universe is a very big place. And we've only just started to unravel its mysteries. Well, if you dip a glass in the ocean, and you look at it, and your glass has no fish, what's your conclusion? Is your conclusion that the ocean doesn't have any fish in it? Or is your conclusion, that's an awfully big ocean, and I didn't sample very much of it with my glass. 50 years of exploration of the cosmic oceans is minuscule. We haven't looked yet. We've hardly begun to search. We ought to do a much better job of searching before we draw any extraordinary conclusions. The building blocks of life are spread all around the universe. It's hard to imagine they haven't taken root in one of the countless other planets out there. Is any of that life what we would consider intelligent? And if alien civilizations are out there, why are they so quiet? Maybe their signals are still on the way. Or maybe they use technology we don't understand. Or they may not be there at all. We just don't know. But one thing is certain. If we find life outside of Earth, it will profoundly change the way we look at life and ourselves. In the meantime, we have our hopes and dreams and the silence of the cosmos.